What is going on Adventure Nation? We are just outside of Boston at Wampatuck State Park. We've done nothing for the last four days. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Nothing. Okay, maybe, I'm not, not nothing. I mean, we, we've done work By stuff. the way, somebody just escaped. See, Ozzy has figured out that he can open this little sliding door and escape. Not good. Get back in there. It's a real pain in the butt now because we can't leave that door open if we just go wander away for a little bit because Ozzy opens it and jumps out. So that's a problem. He did it at the house. He would open every door in the house. He would open the bathroom when you're sitting on the throne. Very fun for guests, actually. But we're here at Wampatuck State Park and we're just outside of Boston. We, we haven't explored the park at all, so we'll show you the site just briefly, and then we're gonna try to maybe stop out front and take the bicycles for a little bit because we have time before we get over to our next park. Uh, check in there probably isn't until three o'clock and we're only about an hour and a half, maybe two hours away on the other side of Boston, so. I have to say this was a very big surprise because for some reason, all the parks here in Massachusetts, Connecticut, all this area, New England area, they're all full. In this one, always has availability. Even in the middle of the summer, has availability. Yeah. So we were like, "What's wrong with that?" Yeah, last and during the week, we, there was nobody here. And when we came here, I mean, and we saw the park. It's just beautiful, and the sites themselves are level and they're big. Uh, I guess the only reason is because uh, it's only electric. And 20, it's 20 amp service amp only so right. just like to be so aware. people freak out because you can't have both acs running your tv going your washer and dryer your hair dryer the microwave and all that kind of stuff all at once yes so for us work well i mean we don't have really that much to run no the, and it run the ac one AC. it did run one ac uh one day because they're having a heat wave here in boston it got up into the high 80s uh no, actually low 90s, 90s mid 90s and uh so yeah we had to run the ac but uh, check this out. This is this is a fairly big site. This is the car here. You got plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> and you have your picnic table, like every campsite. And you have like a little grill fire pit, like that. An extremely spacious site. The park itself supposedly was an old military base, and that's what we want to go check out. There's supposed to be a, a couple of old bunkers that they've either restored or they're in the process of uncovering. I don't know, but we'll check that out in just a minute. But uh, I think it's only one, but we got to roll. <laughs> well, we already yeah, saw yeah. one by the dump station, so we'll show you guys that. Yeah. Well, we gotta go. Yeah. Checkout time. Always pushing checkout time. I will say it has been. A very productive few days here at Wampatuck but uh, now we're gonna go up into Boston and do some exploring in Boston which I'm really excited about I've never spent any time in Boston just blown blown by a few times when I was driving truck so should be cool We're here at Ye Old Dump Station, emptying out, and over here is one of the old bunkers I was mentioning earlier. So this was part of the military base, and there's supposedly more of those in the park, so we might go bike and check them out. Okay, do you know where we're going? It's like pretty confusing. A lot of trails right here. But yeah, I know. We're like here. We're right here. We're gonna bicycle to the boat kayak launch quick. Just oh, we to are? see the reservoir. All right, I didn't then know that. Coming back, the E13 will take us all the way to C8. We take C8 to C7, N33, and then to N32. That's where the bunker is. All right, perfect. Did you get all that? Perfect. <laughs> we're following her. Oh, yeah, some of you guys asked about our our jerry-rigged bike rack. It's not jerry-rigged. So here's how it works. Let's show you guys this thing here. This is a dual hitch receiver, okay? 
it just goes in where your normal hitch would have went it gives you a receiver for your trailer it gives you a receiver for your bike rack so now you put a bike rack on there and voila you're carrying bikes it's really not that difficult we also have a receiver on the car you can see there and so we can take the bike rack off of there put it on the car and take the bikes with us if we're somewhere where we're out in the car right now that's one advantage of flat towing if we were flat towing we would just have the bike rack on the car and we would just leave it there all the time but with the car up on the dolly like it is the bike rack would likely hit the ground I haven't tested that yet actually but I'm assuming the bike would hit the ground and not a good thing still love my dolly Reminds me of Northern Ontario. Fire hydrant. You can see signs of infrastructure. Over here on the other side of Lorena, you see what looks like used to be railroad tracks. Oh, and they're gonna cross up in front of us here. It'd be cool to ride along the tracks. Might be a little rough. This looks like it's going to be interesting. Wow. Oh, wow. Some pretty uh, cool art. Reminds me a little bit of the art project in Austin. This looks unsafe. Let's climb this. What? Yeah, that's horribly unsafe. I wouldn't do that. Come on up, Lorena. No? What do you mean you knew it? I see an unaccessible place and a half ladder and it's like he's going to climb it. <laughs> the artwork up here is amazing. You could give your kids some street chalk and they would be busy for hours. Can you go in down there? Come this way. I told Lorena to come this way, but it's like a walking path that she's gonna think is just tick ridden and this is gonna freak her out. <laughs> look, at, look at her face. She's just already thinking she's being attacked by ticks and is gonna have Lyme disease by the end of the day. He says be careful with Lyme disease. Well, I understand that, but we'll do a tick check when we're done. <laughs> this is awesome. This is a bicycle path. Well, it is. Look, we're bicycles and we're on it, 
that makes it a bicycle path. You can see they have stuff to do on the weekends. One stops, don't know what that is. Old time plant remedies, we could have used that. And biking Womp Talks Cold War Pass, that would have been kind of cool at 2 p.m. You can also stop into the visitor center and pick up a, a trail map, which I highly recommend because there's a lot of biking trails through here, which is amazing. If you're a cyclist, a lot of cycling trails. Not the smoothest in some spots, but not bad. Prefer little children too because yeah. they're paved, so they don't have to go through rough spots. Well, just once in a while. All right, let's roll down the road. Yep. How was it, Paul? I should be wearing a helmet. It's what the rule says, what the lady said too. Hey up there. This is bunker N9, Laurie. This is the one he was talking about. Oh, you're standing on top of the bunker. The bunker is one of the few left from the time Wampatuck State Park operated as the Cohasset Naval Annex. The annex was established for the World War II effort and was responsible for the loading of rocket motors and the manufacturing and storage of gun ammunition, mines, and torpedoes. Hi there. No, this does not look open. Nope, it's locked. It would be cool to see inside of there though. I could have really done without that last I don't know, quarter mile or so uphill. Oh, and did you see the cool entrance to this campground? No, because I didn't have the camera on. But we'll show you that later. <laughs> Knucklehead. Getting escorted out to our site. Okay, we are all set up here at Boston Minuteman Campground. And you guys know by now that we're big fans of the state parks National and national parks, parks and things and like that. City parks. And city parks and things. And not so big a fan of the Private. privates. Although we have had some great luck with the privates. This one is a little more crowded. See our space here. And no matter what window we look out of, coach there, we are actually parked behind these two coaches here. Then when you come out here, if we look out our other side window, we have this coach here. They're all very, very beautiful coaches, by the way. And if we look out the front window, then we have all of these people here in the cabins. There's just people everywhere here so that there's coaches parked left and right and behind each other. So it's one of the parks that we really kind of 
aren't a big fan of. It's very beautiful. Yeah, there's no privacy here. There's no privacy like, is what it is. Seriously, it's like every window you see somebody or a rig. And but I think that's campgrounds, private campgrounds, because they're for profit. They're here to put as many yeah. RVs as they can Stuff in a spot, and, and yeah, and just get their money. So yeah. this is where we'll be for the next little while. Not bad. Uh, spot close to Boston, so yeah, that's a plus. Close to Boston, full hookups, pull through. Yeah, and now we're gonna go check out and see what their laundry facilities and other things are like. So you guys might as well come along with us. <laughs> I used to love these things when I was a kid. Heated pool. Lori's gonna be bummed there's no hot tub. Nice little laundry facility. Very clean. Very clean. Six dryers and four washers, or six washers, four dryers. Any alcohol? We're hanging out here at our campground in Boston, and I got my buddy Mike here who is from Las Vegas. He's actually works with the Wynn and he got, I guess, transferred out here from the Wynn Las Vegas to Wynn Boston. So if you guys didn't know, the Wynn Hotel's building a uh, casino here in Boston. Are they allowed to know that? Yeah. That's general knowledge? It's public it's knowledge. general knowledge. Okay, it's general knowledge. Not it is now. No secret, so you guys aren't gonna think. <laughs> so we're just kind of sitting around here getting ready to do campfire. Miss Lorraine is out here enjoying a brew kicking back. What's more New England and Boston than sitting out having a Sam Adams by the by the non-existent fire? Except for maybe here yeah, <clears throat> yeah having my uh, my Dr. Pepper. Unicorns. That is kind of weird. Dr. Pepper with unicorns on it. Dr. Pepper, call me. Um, cool. And we're waiting for a few more people to show up. Kevin and Laura from Vegan RV might show up and uh, a couple of viewers are supposed to come out tonight. For any of you guys who wonder if we right now, the ever kick back and have a fire every now and then we just don't normally video that come see me more often than me going back home recognize that guy I mean pretty soon it's going to get like really insane Mikey Lorena Laura that's Liz that's John that guy and this is where we're going to call this one, folks. Obviously, we didn't close it out on the day of the video, and that's why we're <laughs> doing it now. But before we finish up, we need to give a very special shout-out to JB. Happy birthday, Happy JB. Happy birthday, JB. It's his 50th. It's a big one. Damn, he's old. <laughs> the one that contacted us was his wife, uh, Kelly. And she loves you very much, I guess. Yeah, that's why she, she says you're kind of special to her, so that's why she had us do this. So, Happy birthday. If this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally as cool if you slam that like button down once or twice. No, don't do it twice because then that cancels it out. Just once is Just enough. Once. And we'll see you again in another one very, very soon. Take care. Bye, guys. Ozzy, can you say bye and happy birthday? He's a man of few words. <laughs>